Hi, my beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Mary Hernandez with Genesis Kingdom. And um, I come with you with part two, um, staying true to the living God, which is our Father Jehovah, um, and our beautiful King Jesus. Uh, Daniel 3, 12. Therefore, a certain, they are certain Jews in whom thou hast set over the affairs of the protovents of, of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O kings, have not regarded thee, and they serve not thy gods, nor they worship the golden image that thou hast set up. And this is kind of like an offset when they had to pass a degree that you don't bow down, that whenever you hear the flute or the hornets, um, you bow down to the image of Nebuchadnezzar that he built the gold. Um, so then they're going to him and saying, hey, we, we blew that, and they didn't bow down to it. So this is never Kadezer's um, respond. <sighs> Sorry. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they brought this man before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake, and he said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do you not yet serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if you are ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, and the sackbut, palsies, and duselmer, and all the kinds of music that you fall down and worship the image which I had made, well, but if you worship not, then you shall be cast into the same hour into the midst of the burning fury furnace. It says, and who is that God that you should deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, it says, we're not careful to answer to this matter. If it so be so, our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So he said, you know, we are not going to bow down to you, but even if our God does deliver us, or even if he doesn't deliver us, we're not going to bow down to you. Now, Daniel 3.19 then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and formed this visage that was charged against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace once seven times more than it was, and it won't, it says, and it won't be to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that they were in the army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fury furnace. Then this man were then this man were bound and their coats and there were hosen and their hats and the other garments that were cast into the midst of the burning fury furnace. Therefore, because the king commanded commandments was urgent, urgent sorry, that the furnace and the fire slew those men, and they took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning, fierce furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, and he rose upon in haste, and he spake, and he said unto the counselor, He said, Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and he said, Lo, I see four men lose walking in the midst of the fire, boom, and they have no herd, the form of the fourth, the form of the fourth is like the Son of God, the Nebuchadnezzar, um, Daniel 3, um, Bible verse 26. You know, I I just, I read this to you and it's very deep to me because in this journey we have been put in situations 
that there's no way that we should be alive right here, right now. And that really hits my heart because, you know, when you're faithful to him, he's faithful to you. And even when you're not faithful to him, he's still there. But yet he's not going to move mountains if you're not moving mountains. If you're not believing and having faith, he says, a small mustard seed. He said, I will bring it to pass. But we have to be right and we have to be patient and do not give up, you know. And just know that he is God and everything has a timing and a purpose for him. And that is this world, you know, and you are, you know, it's not for Satan. You know, they could think that they're going to be victorious and they're going to do this and that. But we're not going to be able to see that because we're not going to be in that world. And that's bringing you back into a covet with our father. Then Nebuchadnezzar came into the mouth of the burning fierce furnace. And he spake and he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach and, Ab and Meshach and Abednego came out forth out of the midst of the fire. The prince, the governors, the captains, the king's counselor, being gathered together, they saw the man upon whose body the fire had no power, had no power, nor the hair, neither their head. They singed neither in their coats. They changed neither the smell of the fire had passed to them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and he said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent him the angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. And he had changed, he had changed the king's word and he yielded at their bodies and they might not serve nor worship any other God except of their God. Do you see how he even did the miracle in front of the others that they worshiped themselves and they believed they were above, but God humbled them and said, Hey, you thought you were going to throw my children in the fire and they were going to perish, but because they believe in me and they strew two to me and they didn't bow down to other idols, he said, I deliver them. And what did he say? He said, from now on, we will worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, every nation, every language which speak of any against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be dunghill, because there is no other God that could deliver after this sword. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Isn't that beautiful? You know, when you get that victory in front of the enemy, that's why a lot of people say, oh, well, you're not living in the fancy house. All that is waiting for me. All that is waiting for you, chosen vessels, into your birthrights, everything. But this is bigger. This is bigger right now. Be patient. This is about saving souls, bringing people back to our Father. When you get that concept and you understand, yes, I have moments that I want it now. I, I really, I want the darkness to end, you know, but everything has a purpose. Like that battle, he keeps them there because that's fuel to my fire. That's fuel to my soul. When they're still attacking me, I know that I'm doing something right because I don't bow down to them. I don't go in the things of the world. I seek the living true God, and that is our Father Jehovah that would deliver you out of every situation that you get put in. Don't worry about what they have. They're serving the darkness. Remember, saying also rewards his people. So not every blessing comes from God. And you got to remember that. So feel honored that he hasn't done it because that's the world doing it. You know, just be patient. Remember, you stop believing, you stop having faith, they win. Stop. Don't stop. Continue praying and stay in faith. I'm not saying it's not hard. It is. But... He will bring it to pass. Daniel 4, Nebuchadnezzar, the king unto the people and nations, languages, and that dwell in the earth, peace, and multiplied it unto you. I thought it is good to show thee the signs and wonders of the high of God that wrong towards me. How great are his signs, and how mighty is his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. His dominion is from generation to generation. I Nebuchadnezzar was at rest in my house, and I flourished in my palaces. 
I saw a dream which made me afraid. The thoughts upon my bed was the vision of the head that troubled me. Therefore, I made a decree to bring the wise men of Babylon before me, and they might make known unto me the interpretation of my dream. It came to the magicians, the astrologers, the Sheldons, and the soothsayers. And I told the dream before them that I did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But at last Daniel came before me, whose name was Belshazzar, according to the name of my God, in whom the spirit of the holy gods before him, that I told him the dream, saying, O Belshazzar, master the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy God is in thee. No secret troubles thee. Tell me the vision of my dream that I've seen the interpretation thereof. And you know, he says, And though that were the visions of my head was in my bed, I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth. The height thereof was great. The tree grew and it was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, and in the side thereof was the end of all the earth. And this is what he was seeing. You know, the leaves thereof were fair, and the fruit were there much. And for it was the mead for all, the beasts of the field and the shadow under it. The fowls of the heaven, they dwelled both thereof, and all the flesh was fed of it. <clears throat> I saw in the vision of my head upon my bed, and behold, the watcher of the Holy One that came down from heaven. He cried in a loud voice, and he said, how down the tree and cut off the branches, shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from the branches. Nevertheless, leave the stump and the roots on the earth, but even the bands of the iron and the brass. The tender grass of the field, let it be wet and in the dew of. Heaven and let the the portion that he had with this is let the portion he with the beast of the grass of the earth. Let the heart change from man's and let the beast's heart be given unto him. Let seven times let seven times pass over him. This matter is by the degree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth over the kingdom of men. But he give it to whomsoever he will set up over it, that be set of men. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now, O dull Belshazzar, declare the interpretation thereof. For as much as the wise men, for as much as the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation that thou are able in the spirit of the holy God is in thee. Then Daniel said, whose name was Belshazzar was astonished for one hour, and the thoughts troubled him. The king spake to Belshazzar, let not the dream nor the interpretation thereof trouble thee. Belshazzar answered and said, my lord, the dream be to them that hate thee. The interpretation thereof is thine enemies. The tree that thou sawest which grew was strong and whose hide reached into the heaven. The side thereof is all the earth. Who's the leaf that is much fair and the fruit thereof is much, but it was the meat for all under which the beast they felt. Upon those branches was the fowls of the heaven and the habitation. It is thou, O king, that thou hast grown and become strong for the greatness it has grown. They reacheth unto heaven and the dominion of the end of the earth. And whereas the king saw the watcher is a holy one coming down from heaven, saying, How the tree down and destroy it, and yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth. But even with the band of iron and the brass and the tender grass is the field, let it be wet. For the dew of the heaven, let it be a portion of the beasts of the field until seven times pass over him. This interpretation, O king, is a degree of the Most High, which cometh upon the, the my Lord, the king, that those shall drive thee for man of the dwelling, and they shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make the e they, they shall make them eat grass and oxen, and they shall wet thee seven times, and they shall pass over thee.
till thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man, that give it to whoever so he will. And whereas they command to leave the stump of the tree roots, my kingdom shall sure unto thee. But after thou, they shall have known that the heavens do rule. Wherever, O king, let my counsel be accepted, acceptable unto thee, and break off the sin, the sin, and by righteousness thine iniquities, by showing mercy to the poor, and that it may be lying to tranquility. That it came to pass upon the king of Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of the twelve months he walked in the palace in the kingdom of Babylon. The king spake, and he said, It is not the, these, the great Babylon that I have built the house of the kingdom, that, my, that, that by my might of my power and my honor and my majesty. While the word was in the king's mouth, they fell a voice from heaven, saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee I have spoken. The kingdom has departed from thee. He lost it. You know, so just know everything has a purpose. Everything has a timing. Um, and just trust on our Lord that he gives you the victory over every obstacle, every trials and tribulations, brothers and sisters. I'm going to have to do part three um, video. This is part two. And staying true to the living God, which is our Father Jehovah, whom loves you very, very much. And I'll start off in Daniel 4.32 on my next one. Um, I just, you know, this is just little pointers of the trials and tribulations. But at the end, everywhere we go, he takes on the head, the head of the snake. You know, he's given us a victory everywhere we go. Just continue having faith. Be patient. He's placing his children back into a land that he had promised. And just remember, he is faithful and he's not a father that lies. And everything is a due season for each and one of you. And remember, you get blessed, blessed forward. Stay praying. Even if you got into your home, your marriage, everything, stay in prayer. Stick the things of the kingdom of God. Don't forget the creator of the ends of the earth. You know, never continue going to church once a week. Um, I think I heard pretty boss that, you know, I think she goes two or a month now that she's praying. But, you know, everybody does it different. But continue going to church. Show up, you know, one day out of the week and every week. Just thank him. Hey, thank you that I'm still breathing. I thank you for everything that you do. You know, she's amazing. You can listen to a lot of her um, videos that she has done. And then just stay, stay positive and stay that. Our Father Jehovah is on the throne and all this. And the victory is ours, brothers and sisters. And know that he loves you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Um, we'll see you here in part three video. Have an amazing day. Amen and amen.